Got it right now. Hey guys, it's Riley Jackson here from the Epic Dude of Awesome channel. I haven't put a video up for a while, so I figured I'd make this one. It's about Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now, I've already finished the game, and um, right now I'm playing uh, Ezio, but in his Altair robes, which you can get by completing all of Sequence 8. Um, and this video is mainly for some tips and tricks on Assassin's Creed. Now, I'm really good at Assassin's Creed. Um, I started playing about two years ago. Uh, if you guys remember my Brotherhood video, uh, my Brotherhood video, well, just one. I was supposed to put up two, but I didn't do the one. Maybe I will do it one day, but whatever. But um, I got this one up. I'm going to put this one up. And if you guys don't remember, considering I have been off for a long time, uh, we do have um, uh, a Facebook, so if you guys want to check that out, that'd be awesome. Um, also, I've noticed uh, there's a lot of new people on YouTube lately, uh, a lot of new things coming up, um, uh, and some other stuff. It's really exciting, because... I'll tell you this, I haven't subscribed to them because I already have so many subscriptions to people and I don't have any subscribers of my own so it looks sort of crappy, but uh, you know, it is what it is, so. um, but anyway, the guy's name is Tobaskus, he's really, really funny, I think he's hilarious, he uh, actually did a thing for Assassin's Creed Revelations, which, a commercial, which was actually really cool. Uh, so as you see, I'm parachuting. They did bring the parachutes back in Assassin's Creed Revelations. And so, they also brought a couple new things that I think you guys will enjoy. If you haven't got it yet, or you really want it, but you can't get it yet. So this is called a zipline. Basically, you use this new thing called a hook blade to zip in, and you assassinate somebody. Pretty cool, right? Well, then you also got bombs. You got your diversion bombs which makes them go over to it you got your bombs that are like smoke and cow drops and all that kind of stuff and then you got your like thunder bombs which have coal dust and all that kind of stuff of course you have your hidden gun and all that other nice and keen stuff so um now I have Altair's robes I have Desmond Desmond Miles um, thing. I have um, I have his skin, and then of course I have regu the regular skin too. But um, I don't have like the Turkish armor, or the armor of brutes or anything, because I didn't pre-order it and I didn't get the signature edition and all that kind of stuff. I just, you know, got the regular one. I got it. Uh, the cool thing about the Revelations game, especially if you're a PS3 player like me, you get a special thing where if you didn't have the first original Assassin's Creed, the original comes with it, which is really, really nice for new players that didn't uh, don't understand the story in the entire way. So that's always a really nice feature. Like me, I didn't know the original story all the way, because I didn't play the first game, but now I have, and I've beat the first game, so that's really nice. Um, I've also beat the second game now, the third game, and I've also beat Revelation, so I've beat all the Assassin's Creed so far. Now, I heard a lot of people will talk about rumors about a new Assassin's Creed coming out, and um, if you have like a subscription to Amazon and stuff, um, they do tell you that you can pre-order a game from their site. And what it is, is it's going to be called Assassin's Creed 3. Now you're probably all thinking Assassin's Creed 3. That's Brotherhood. No, Brotherhood is Brotherhood, not Assassin's Creed 3. But this is just information I found out this morning when my mom told me. So I don't know all the details, but so far that's all I know. Uh, so, basically I'm just showing you all the gameplay there is. And I'm giving you these little tips and tricks on what I have, how I use it, and oh my god, how did I die? What the heck was that? That was weird, wasn't it? That was a little weird, huh? Yeah. 
That was really freaky. Well, but, uh, okay. Now I'm gonna get on to some other tips and tricks that I think you guys will be able to use a lot better. So basically, um, one thing that you really wanna do is, I don't usually do it when I start, but as I'm finishing the game, or after I already finished the game, I usually start um, doing a lot of the synchronization points. They really come in handy. Um, another thing that you might want to grasp is to do all the assassin challenges, assassin guild challenges, because you will get Altair Sword, which is a really nice sword. Um, also, I don't remember how you get it, but you would also want to get the master assassin armor because you know how when you're behind somebody on a roof and they look around and like oh my god there he is and they try to shoot you no when the master assassin armor it doesn't make any sound so so sort of just walk up or run up behind them you know what I mean so that's always nice um what else what else uh parachutes you really want to get the large bag of parachutes that really comes in handy on occasion. Um, when taking out multiple enemies, throwing knives are a really cool thing to have, especially when you try and hide from them. You want to make sure you got them knife belt upgrades. Um, I would s now my bomb combinations are the things that I think are the best. Not the best, but some of the good things that you can use. Because I know there's ways to get new bomb materials and stuff if you get the signature edition. Now here I have a cherry bomb in a sticky pouch. And it has British gunpowder. I think it's British or Arabic gunpowder in it. You can choose either or. I, I prefer British... Actually, I really prefer Arabic because you really don't need British because it's just making sound. It's not like it's shooting shrapnel everywhere. So, I'm going to show you how it works. Okay. I'm going to demonstrate on these group of guards all these bombs. Okay, so. You can find them. Um, it disappeared. What the heck? Also, um, another thing you want to do is, you want to try to get all the cities in the city game, because uh, it'll start giving you a whole bunch of different bomb creative materials, and try not to let them get run over. So, uh, hold on. Okay. So this is the sticky pouch one. I'm going to throw it up on that wall. No, I'm going to throw it right there. Watch. Okay. Freaks out the guards are like, oh my god, what the heck was that? That's good. Now, I also have a sticky pouch cow drop bomb. And how I use this is so. If, like, I'm gonna fight with somebody and I wanna make sure I get enough cow drop bombs on all my enemies, I stick a bomb to them. And the bomb explodes on them, and then I know. Cow jobs will be on that. Okay, now I've killed the guard, now they're all after me. This is where my last and final bomb comes in the splinter bomb. Now, when you're in a fight like this, and you're outnumbered, obviously, well, in this case, I only have one chasing me. No, I had two. I'm sorry. Yeah, made me fall over. Even if you take a little damage, Splinter bombs are a perfect thing to use. I don't know why he's walking away. Hey. <laughs> he's just walking away. The heck. But, um, splinter bombs are a great thing to use. Now, I use an impact shell because if you use a rebound, it takes way too long. And by then, they can move out of the way. Sticky pouch, unless you stick it to them, it takes way too long. And I'm not big on the trip wires. I really don't like trip wires. Because it takes way too long to set them up. And it's way too hard, especially when you're in combat situations. Unless you're like camping for like somebody. That's just. Oh. You don't want to be camping, especially in this game, because it takes too long. 
and you don't know exactly the way they're computerized to go, so you always gotta guess. Which, when you're a camper, it's not good. I know this from my Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 experience. Even though I wasn't playing a third person, I know it. So, um, let's see what else. So, I've showed you my bombs, I've given you tips on what you might want to have. Uh, oh, next is knives. Um, the knife. A lot of people think um, the Romani Stilato is the best. It's not. I've done the stats update. And it's really this helmet's dagger. I don't know how you get it. I think you get it by um, doing the game Discovery. Because, uh, I mean that thing called Discovery when you find out Yusuf dies. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit of a spoiler for those of you guys. That, but if you don't know who Yusuf is, that is totally fine. You won't, you'll probably forget by the time you get the game. So, whatever. Um... What else can I say? Oh, um... Man, what else can I say? Um... Oh, that's right. Multiplayer. Um, for the Assassin's Creed. Uh, I don't have the multiplayer, but from what I've heard and what I've seen on YouTube, looks pretty darn cool. So if you get the game and you're a big online player, looks like you're gonna have some little fun. Um, uh, oh, and for those of you people that don't know, if you know what the Desmond Invent Adventures are, um, you obviously know um, what they are, and you go back to Desmond's past himself, but not as Desmond, but as a computer program. Now, for those of you who don't have to get them, these little Animus DNA fragments are what you need to get. You need a certain amount so you can do a certain one. Um, now I've done all of them, that's why I have the Desmond skin. Uh, you don't get it by finishing the game. You have to get it by doing all the adventures. So, you know, fun. Um, I don't really, I don't think I have to talk about bomb crafting. And I don't pretty sure I don't have to talk about dang, um, you know, cities and stuff, because that's, if you played Brotherhood, you obviously know how that works. If you don't, I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to find out yourself. Uh, I can't help you with that. I don't have a strategy for that kind of stuff. Um, one thing you might want to do, really you might want to do, is probably unlock a lot of blacksmith and medical shops it really helps when you're like in a rush and like oh my gosh you're throwing knives for this mission or oh my gosh I need some more medicine you know what I mean um, another thing that's really useful in the game is the tailor shops um, some people may not know this because you didn't play brotherhood but in the, the tailor shops allow you to get these parachutes which are really really useful um, they also let you get bigger bags and stuff, which is a real big help. Oh, I haven't... Uh, let's see, I think I only have one bookshop open. I, I'm not a big fan of the bookshops. I, uh, they're just like art peoples. They don't really do much for you, I guess. Um, ah, uh, what else can I say? Um... Oh, that's right, um, with this upcoming, um, video that I'm putting on, uh, that means I'm also going to start putting up more videos, but do remember, just, um, my videos may even be more limited now because I'm starting to take high school entrance exams, not the real ones, but like the pre-tests. And I need all my time, to, like a lot of my time to study and stuff. So videos like this will be up more, but not as much as I would like. Um, I also got a new game. Let's see, where did I put the case? Nope, it's Assassin's Creed 2. Mm, whatever, I can't find it right now. But it's called Homefront. 
And for those of you that don't know what that is, or it sounds interesting, because I just said home front, whatever. Um, it's basically Korea in 2027, Korea takes over, well, I'm sorry, 2025, Korea takes over America. And it's 2027, and your character gets enlisted in the resistance, the American resistance, and you basically fight off a crapload of Koreans. And the controls are the same exact thing as Modern Warfare, which is a little cheap. Um, but the characters are totally different. Um, the weapons look awesome. I personally think the M4 and Homefront looks a lot better than the one in Call of Duty. Of course, that's my personal opinion. Might not be yours, but I think it looks way cooler. Um, I also got some new guns that I don't think Call of Duty has ever had unless it was in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 and I didn't know about it. 